In this video, I'm going to be talking about the behavioral economics concept of salience, which is a really simple concept. It's basically just importance weights that you place on the cost and benefit in uh, an economic model of a person's decision. But while it's simple, it's really important if you want to think about manipulation and how manipulation happens. Advertisers basically manipulate people to change their decisions by manipulating the salience of different components of their decision making. Now, as an example, I'd like you to think about the decision about how much money to budget for a vacation. Let's say you're planning some kind of summer vacation, you're kind of putting together your spreadsheets, you're planning out what hotels do you buy, what flights do you go to, what um, activities are you going to budget for. And there's a bunch of different costs and benefits. And we could simplify this problem by saying the cost of this is simply going to be the money you spend. So that needs to be weighed against the benefit, um, the marginal utility of every dollar you spend, as usual. But there's different types of utility in your objective function. And the most classic is going to be the experiential utility. How will you enjoy your walks on the beach? How will you enjoy your... Um, meals, how will you enjoy your evening times, that's just sort of experienced in the moment utility and you hope you have lots of it. But there's other types of things you care about that might um, matter when it comes to budgeting. Safety could be something you care about. You might need to budget in money to protect yourself if something goes wrong. Status. Um, maybe you're envisioning on your vacation you're going to be taking photographs and you're going to be posting those photographs to social media. What about regret? If you go to a place and you don't go to one of the main attractions in that particular location, will you feel regret down the road? And that sort of gets at this fear of missing out. What about convenience? Um, walking versus taking a taxi. And now all of these might enter separately into your objective function when you're trying to budget how much you want to spend on the vacation. Now, of the things I just listed, it's possible that safety is not at all registering in your decision-making process. And you might imagine that um, if you were a company that sold protection plans or insurance or equipment that might keep you safe during, um, during a swim, for example, you could probably sell more of that equipment or get people to expand their budget by increasing the salience of safety in your decision making when you're planning for your vacation. In which case, maybe the safety unit starts out with an importance weight of zero because you're not thinking about it at all. Because you can never really think about all of the potential costs and benefits in a vacation. You really just pick the few that seem most important according to your thought process up till that day. Now, advertisers have figured out tricks that work to manipulate people's salience, and these tricks are well proven over the years. For example, um, in, if you encounter something over and over and over again, the frequency that you've encountered it will, will inherently add weight to that thing when you're considering it in a decision. Obviously, emotion is going to up the salience, in our decision making, and maybe that's a really good thing. Maybe what you actually care about is your emotional experience as you um, go through the world. So maybe emotion should influence your decision making, but it can also be easily manipulated. Um, and of course we know that negative emotion works more strongly than positive emotion. So status, um, the hope of getting higher status, that is certainly a positive emotion. Um, if you want to up that a little bit more, you can add a negative emotion on top of that, such as fear of missing out or fear of losing status if um, your pictures for your vacation don't match up to your friends. So advertisers can think carefully about emotion, frequency of exposure, and other factors that are go going to influence the salience of these different parts of our cost-benefit analysis. And I'm not even saying that cost-benefit analysis is necessarily deliberative. Um, it could be that you make decisions about your vacation in a more intuitive way, and the manipulation of salience is going to work whether or not your decision making is super deliberative. Now my guess is that your budget for a big vacation is probably going to be at least somewhat deliberative, that you're going to sit down and carefully weigh what kinds of things you want to include in your budget for that. But 
Um, it could be that you also make some of these decisions more intuitively. Does this feel, does, does adding a boat ride feel like it's worth it? And whether or not it feels like it's worth it is going to be related to um, the salience of that, that experience as you think about it, which can be manipulated. Now since I'm doing a video on salience, which is um, related to manipulation in a lot of cases, I should at least mention that behavioral economists do think about the ethics behind these things. Um, if we're going to have a bunch of advertisers manipulating the salience of different factors and perhaps making us more fearful or more worried than we should be so that we'll buy their products, is it ethical to counteract that manipulation with other manipulation? If you counteract that, how transparent do you need to be? Is it ethical to manipulate a population to do things that are in the population's best interest? These are all questions that economists do struggle with. Um, if you'd like to look into those debates, libertarian paternalism is um, one branch of behavioral economics that thinks a lot about ethics and those sorts of questions.